Well, amigos, ¿qué tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks with an update video today. We'll go through some of the newspapers here in Spain, check out what is happening in the press around the country. Lots of interesting stories about today. Then at the end of the video, we'll go into the comment section and check out what is happening there. Now, there's a fair bit of news around today about possible new restrictions that the government is going to bring in, or at least ask the autonomous communities to bring in for that Easter break. Easter here in Spain is going to be a crucial time as far as the pandemic is concerned, because as we know, we're already talking about a fourth wave of the pandemic in this country. So let's get straight into the news. And as we can see, the first story that we are met with here is about those possible changes. So we'll click on that one. And the headline reads that the health department is asking the autonomous communities to close non-essential activity at 8 p.m., during Holy Week. The ministry wants to debate the issue with the autonomous communities, especially when it comes to non-essential activity, and that means that regional governments would have to change their regulations. So an 8 p.m. closure most likely on the cards for non-essential businesses over that Easter break. I imagine they mean shopping centres, cinemas, bars, restaurants, and all of those things that are associated to leisure in this country. Only essential businesses will be able to stay open later, for example, supermarkets and pharmacies. So that's the first proposal from the central government, and I imagine more proposals will come to light over the next few days, because as we know, Easter week is just around the corner. Now we'll go back into the news and we'll click on this article here about mobility restrictions and whether or not they are coherent with European policy. And the Prime Minister, Pedro Sánchez, affirms that his mobility policy at Easter is coherent with the recommendations of the EU. Another politician, Aitor Esteban, has asked the government not to facilitate the arrival of international tourists while nationals are subjected to perimeter closure. And that has been one of the big debates here in Spain in recent times. Why can't Spanish people travel around the country? Why can't people go to their neighbouring autonomous community to visit their friends, to visit their relatives? Yet people from other European countries are allowed to come down to Spain to places like Madrid, the Balearic Islands, the Canary Islands, and enjoy everything that Spain has. The European Union yesterday asked Spain to be consistent and coherent. And as we can see here, the Prime Minister is saying that the country is coherent when it comes to these mobility restrictions. So who's telling the truth, the EU or the Spanish government? Now we'll go back into the news and there's an article here about the fourth wave of the coronavirus here in Spain, so we'll click on that one. And the headline reads that the fourth wave of the coronavirus arrives in Spain before Easter and with lax measures it will grow faster because of the English variant. Winter has ended with 24,000 dead and 120,000 people hospitalised in Spain and experts foresee a new increase. So the fourth wave already here according to that article and if measures to contain it are too lax it is going to spread very very quickly and that no doubt is why the government is talking about bringing in more restrictions. Now we'll leave El Mundo, go to El País, check out what is happening there. As we can see, the story on the left also talking about those possible new restrictions or closing down businesses that are not essential at 8 p.m. over that Easter break. And there's an article here about Italy and the AstraZeneca vaccine, so we'll click on that one. And it is that Italy has found 29 million hidden AstraZeneca vaccines that were to be sent to the UK, according to the newspaper La Stampa. And Germany believes that the finding could speed up vaccination in the EU. So that's a strange piece of news. Italy stumbling across 29 million AstraZeneca vaccines that were going to be sent to the UK. And now Germany saying that that could speed up the vaccination process here in Europe. And if I'm not mistaken, didn't Italy have an issue with Australia a couple of weeks ago because they didn't want to send the AstraZeneca vaccine down there? And here we are again with them suddenly finding 29 million doses of the vaccine. A little bit strange, but then again, nothing surprises me nowadays. Now we'll go back into the news and click on this article on the right, also about AstraZeneca. And the headline reads, what about those who don't want to be vaccinated with AstraZeneca? The health department now has the problem of managing the rejection of the Anglo-Swedish pharmaceutical serum. You you cannot choose your vaccine in the context of scarcity. Whoever rejects the AstraZeneca vaccine will not be vaccinated for now, according to the minister. So more possible problems for the health department when it comes to the AstraZeneca vaccine, people that don't want to be injected with it. All of the bad publicity that this vaccine has had in recent times, obviously causing people to think twice 
when their time comes, and a few people obviously choosing not to be vaccinated. But as the minister said, there are just not enough vaccines around for people to be fussy, so better to take what you can get when you can get it. Now we'll leave El Pais, go to El Confidencial, and we'll have a look at some of the health data around the country, starting with Catalonia. As we can see there, they currently have an incidence rate of 166 per 100,000 people over the last 14 days, which is on the way up. The Balearic Islands now down to 47.5. Good news for German tourism. The Valencian community now down to 29.3, which is absolutely incredible, considering that I think they were over a 1,000 just six weeks ago. Andalusia still quite high comparatively at 120, and Madrid, of course, bringing up the rear at 222. And Madrid, as usual, making the other autonomous communities here in Spain a little bit nervous. There was a war of words yesterday between two autonomous leaders here in Spain, the Premier of Cantabria and the Premier of Madrid, had a bit of a shouting match over the health situation, and especially those bad numbers in Madrid and the relatively good numbers in other places around the country. But hey, that's politics in this country. And as we all know, there's 17 different ways to handle the same health situation. Now we'll leave El Confidencial and have a final look at the news here at the RTVE site. And there's an article here about Germany and whether or not they are going to close at Easter time. So we'll click on that one. And the headline reads, Merkel backs down and won't close Germany at Easter. This mistake is mine alone, she says. So Germany there deciding not to close for Easter. There was talk that they were going to do that, close, not allow people to travel out of Germany over that Easter break. But Merkel there saying that it's perhaps not a good idea and keeping the country open. And that means that people are going to come down to Spain from Germany, I imagine. And that is going to infuriate the Spaniards even more. But it is good news, I imagine, for those popular tourist destinations here in Spain for Germans, the Balearic Islands and the Canary Islands. Now we'll leave the news there and go into the comment section, check out what is happening there. We'll have a look at this one here from Owen Ice. The amount of people I know that are going to try and travel around Spain at Easter, including myself, won't know if my reason is valid until I'm at the airport. Either stop travel or allow it and save the headache of answering to hundreds of people. Why do they have to mess about? Owen, thanks for the comment, and you're right, it is a little bit confusing at the moment, and you could get the idea that you are being messed about. I personally don't know anybody that's going to be traveling at Easter time. I think the majority of the people that I know are going to stay put, not travel, because obviously we're not allowed to go anywhere at the moment, but you say there that you do know people that are going to try and travel, but you won't know if you are allowed to until you get to the airport, or until you get stopped at one of those controls around the country. You say there in the comment, either stop it or allow it. As far as I know, it is stopped. You're not allowed to do it. So that seems fairly clear. You can travel to other countries. Airports are open. So you can go to the airport here in Madrid and take a flight to Paris, or you can go to Berlin, or you can go to some other European destination, but you can't legally travel between autonomous communities in the country because as we know all of the 17 autonomous communities are closed for local travel. Students I think are the only people that are allowed to travel at Easter time but the rest of us have to stay put. So if you do decide to travel, good luck. One here from Kay Welton, why has Spain and others not started vaccine production itself? Why not view vaccine production the same as governments do armaments in wartime? You put all negatives aside and just get on with it. Surely AstraZeneca, Pfizer, etc. would license the production and provide information needed. From the 29th, Brits can be fined £5,000 for going abroad for a holiday. Yeah, okay, thanks for the comment and good question. Spain is trying to produce its own vaccine. It's in production at the moment. However, things are a little bit slow. Apparently, one of the main problems they have is that there's just not enough scientists to work on the vaccine. And the ones working on the vaccine are all technically retired, but there's nobody to replace them, so they're working into their 70s. That's why things are a little bit slow. I don't think it's a secret that Spain doesn't invest a lot of money in research and development. The Spanish government seems to have other priorities, but I think starting next month, the production of some of those vaccines that you mentioned there is gonna take place here in Spain. And I also think that the Janssen vaccine is going to be produced in Catalonia, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So when that does happen, it could be the end of Spain's woes when it comes to COVID-19 vaccines. We'll have to wait and see. On that note, I'll start to wrap the video up. Questions and comments, please leave them in the section below. Debate the situation out as you normally do. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. I'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego.